Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here. For a lot of players that tend to play at home a bit more, they may not favour using the bridge pickup, tend to prefer in the neck. And it's a great sounding pickup, but in the band mix for me, the bridge pickup is king. It sits really nicely in a pocket and has the clarity to cut through the mix as well. So today we're going to check out six different guitars with six different pickups in, talk about how each one sounds and responds to your playing. So let's get started. So first up, we're checking a Fender Strat. Here I've got a Custom Shop 61 reissue, and if you hadn't guessed, it's in a super heavy relic finish. The Strat works really well for kind of some of those snappy, poppy, funky bits. It's really nice if you want to mute some of the strings as well. So let's have a listen to it. So next up, we're going to check out a Telecaster. This is a custom shop reissue, it's a 53 reissue, and this is the Tele Custom which has the binding around the body as well. What you're gonna hear from this is that it has a lot of similar traits to the strap, but it's kind of like a strap, but on steroids. It's got a bit more girth to it, and it pushes the front end of the amp a bit harder too. Ideal for a lot of the country stuff. <laughs> Next up, we're checking out Mini Humbuckers. In this case, it's installed on this Epiphone Joe Bonamassa Signature Firebird 1. It's a pre-owned model, and these are getting quite rare now, so we're really lucky to have it in. As Joe Bonamassa finds, and as I find as well, actually, it's ideal for holding down some of those tight, heavy blues rhythms. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking at a P90 pickup now. This is fitted to a gorgeous Gibson Les Paul Jr. in ebony, which is a very cool looking guitar. You don't often see them in ebony, especially with the tortoiseshell guard as well. The P90 works really well for a lot of the punky kind of parts. If it's moved up into the neck position, yes, it works great for jazz too, but as we're just looking at bridge pickups, I definitely would say it's a punk cult classic. Let's have a listen to it. When talking about rhythm guitarist, Malcolm Young is a name that crops up all the time. As one of the tightest and finest rhythm players out there, Malcolm is known for holding down all the main riffs in ACDC. And as you can see from this signature Gretsch of his, he only had a bridge pickup, so who are we to argue? In terms of sound from this TV Jones Filtertron, it's a big, warm sound. It's warmer than maybe the P90 or the Mini Humbucker, so let's have a listen to it and see what it sounds like. Last guitar we're checking out today is this Gibson ES335-59 reissue. This has a humbucker in the bridge position, and for me, the Gibson semis just have this incredible clarity. It pushes the amp into natural overdrive, but you can still hear each note really, really well. So the six are some of the most iconic bridge pickup sounds out there, which lend themselves really well to certain genres, as you can probably tell by now. It also depends on how much space you want to fill and how much of the mix you want to take up too, as to which one will work for you. So it's well worth experimenting with some of these bridge pickups. Now, to be really fair to these guitars, we've plugged them straight into the house Cornell. We're not using any pedals, and you can see the settings on screen right here. If you do want to find out any more about any of these guitars, the links will be in the description below. And we've also done a back-to-back -back comparison, which you can hear right now. Thanks for watching.